So it's that time of year again. Pumpkins are coming out of the garden like crazy and stacking up in my kitchen. So we had to get on that and make up some pumpkin puree. And I used sugar pumpkins for this. So pumpkin spice everything. Here's three recipes. Recipe one, pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal cookies. This was a new recipe for me, but something I wanted to try. You'll need two cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, two teaspoons cinnamon, two teaspoons pumpkin spice, one half teaspoon salt, one and a half cups old fashioned oats, one cup unsalted butter, three quarters cup brown sugar, one half cup white sugar, one egg yolk, three quarters cup pumpkin puree, two teaspoons vanilla, and one cup of chocolate chips, or more if you like. So to get started, very similar process here with all these, these recipes today. You're going to combine all of your dry ingredients together. So that includes the spices, the salt, the flour. And you'll want to whisk these together because you got some potent spices in here, especially those cloves. And then also you're going to add your oats at this time. So everything dry goes together. Then we're going to switch over to the wet ingredients and start with our melted butter vanilla, and then our sugars as well are gonna go in with our wet ingredients. So both brown sugar and the white sugar and our egg yolk. So here, just separating the egg yolk out and giving that a quick stir. Then it's time to add the pumpkin. I've got a big bowl of pumpkin in front of me I'm using for these recipes. So you'll see me scoop from it quite a bit today. <laughs> Blend that together then combine that wet and dry together. And I'm just using a spatula to stir this and you want to stir just until it's combined. If you over stir, you can alter the flavor and the texture a little bit. Then last step is to add the chocolate chips. I used about a cup this time. And then I'm using my cookie scoop and scooping them out onto cookie sheets or baking trays, whatever you call them. I also am using some parchment paper on this one. So this made 33 cookies, so sort of a random amount, but 33 cookies is what I got. And I'll tell you, it's only three days later and they're all gone. So my son said these were amazing and he even brought some to the kids on the bus. Second recipe are my favorite pumpkin cream cheese muffins. To make the muffin portion, you'll need one and a half cups all-purpose flour, three quarters cup granulated sugar, one teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon pumpkin pie spice, one quarter teaspoon salt, one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, one egg, one quarter cup melted butter, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. For the cream cheese filling, you'll need four ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons granulated sugar, one teaspoon all-purpose flour, one teaspoon milk, and one half teaspoon vanilla extract. I decided to double this recipe because this is absolutely my favorite pumpkin recipe of the whole year, aside from pumpkin pie, which is just too traditional to pass up. So you will see me doubling the recipe here, putting all of the dry ingredients together, baking soda, baking powder, all the seasoning and the flour, again, whisking together to disperse that seasoning evenly, then switching to our wet ingredients, so butter, Lots of pumpkin in this recipe. These are very moist muffins. I love that. And vanilla. And then two eggs. So we're going to give that a whisk together. Make sure it's well combined. And then next step, we are going to go ahead and get our cream cheese filling ready. So you want to let your cream cheese come to room temperature. I am doubling. So again, I'm using a full eight ounce cube here where I gave you four ounces in the recipe, just a little bit of flour, some vanilla, a little bit of sugar. And this is going to have almost like a cheesecake like flavor to it. And then just add milk to it to ensure you can get it nice and smooth. Then you want to put it into a plastic bag. You're going to use this kind of like a piping bag like you would for frosting to get that into the center of the muffins. Then of course my camera didn't work so well for this part, but what you do is you fill up your muffin cups about three quarters of the way with the pumpkin muffin mix. Then take the tip of your piping bag and cut it off. 
stick it right in the center and squeeze and some of that will go right in the middle about a tablespoon each and make that nice cream cheese filling. Bake them at 350 for about 15 or 20 minutes. These are again my absolute favorite. You have to try these ones. Our third and final recipe are pumpkin blondies and this is another new recipe for me this year. For this recipe you will need two and a half cups of flour, one tablespoon pumpkin pie spice, one and a half teaspoons baking soda, one teaspoon salt, one cup unsalted butter, one and three quarters cup granulated sugar, one large egg, one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, two tablespoons vanilla extract, and one cup of chocolate chips. So you guessed it, start with all the dry ingredients again, very similar to all three recipes. So we've got flour, baking soda, baking powder. We'll need to get all of our seasonings in as well. So you got your pumpkin pie spice. And I actually make my pumpkin pie spice from home, just mixing the different ingredients together. Give it a good whisk. And then it's time to move on to the wet ingredients. This time our butter is not melted, so we are going to cream it. That's this one. And that takes about two minutes. It's going to be fluffy and lightened in color. Then you're going to add your sugar. And then you want to whip it again. You want it to kind of let the sugar dissolve into the butter. You'll notice as I'm going here that sort of the chunks start to stick together more and form more of a unified mass. That's what you're looking for. This took probably about two to three additional minutes. Then you're gonna add your egg. Now this is the part where you don't wanna overbeat it after you add the egg. So make sure it's nice and creamy before you do the egg. Mix it just enough for it to combine. Scrape down the sides of the bowl if you need to to make sure it's all dispersed evenly. And then adding in your pumpkin. And you'll also add in vanilla. Give it another good whip. And that's our wet stuff. So now we need to combine them. All the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients using a spatula to stir it together. Don't use your beaters here. You do not want to overbeat it now that the egg is in there. And then final step is to add chocolate chips. And I used about a cup, but I think next time I would use more in my opinion after trying this recipe. Go ahead and grease a 9 by 13 baking dish and scoop it in. It's a pretty thick batter, so you will want to spread it out evenly so that it cooks well all across the whole pan. And then you're going to bake it at the same 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes or until the top is golden brown. This again turned out much more like cake to me than a brownie or blondie, but they were good. They tasted like a pumpkin bread or a pumpkin cake with some chocolate in them. So go ahead and give that one a try too. So if you've got tons of pumpkins or tons of pumpkin puree like I do after this year's harvest, give some of these recipes a try. Or if you have a favorite recipe, drop it down in the comments so I can go ahead and try that as well. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Bye.